It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I'm going to do something that kind of normal kind of different but at the same time it's the going deeper into the teaching so you can have a better understanding of the why aspect when you're applying a case such as Florida v Royer I actually did a video from Diamond Music 24k a couple of days ago in which I pointed out some of the things that was done in that video that was wrong by the officer now one of those aspects was the fact that I constantly tell you you do not have to participate in the officers investigation why because you have the right to remain silent now while I say that often many of us have the inability to remain silent but just so you can understand the context of what I'm saying, I'm going to give you a couple of aspects from Florida v. Royer. If you remember in that video with Diamond Music 24K, he spoke about it being a Terry frisk or a Terry stop. Well, Florida v. Royer speaks of it as determining that sudden flight in a high crime area does not create a reasonable suspicion justifying a Terry stop because flight may simply be an exercise of one's right to go one's way and the thing is you have the right to not participate there is no obligation for you to actually unless you're detained and they're investigating and unless you absolutely just want to knowing that no one gives a shit about your side and that the people that you're dealing with aren't dealing in law or are they dealing in something other than a for-profit business of revenue generation. Florida Re Royer is telling you, you can go about your business without participation in a police officer's investigation. And I'm gonna go a little deeper in that because an individual when approached has the right to ignore the police and go about his business. Why? Because you are not obligated to listen to a police officer unless there is a crime, which is why when I spoke about Hybel v. Nevada, it speaks about they must articulate a crime. Terry v. Ohio, articulate there must be a crime. Because until then, you are not obligated to participate. Because even then, you have the right to remain silent because you have the right against self-incrimination, which trying to talk your way out of it will do. And that even though police have the right to approach an individual and ask questions, the individual has no obligation to respond. Now, I'm going to go back to video 23 where I talked about the police officers here in El Paso. And I spoke about the mere point where the officer said, all you had to do was comply and tell me. Stop cooperating with your investigation. That's all you have to do. Stop cooperating with your investigation. That's all you have to do. He has no obligation to participate in the police officer's investigation. Why? Florida v. Royer. The last portion of this is going to be something that the words used in it is probably going to throw you a little bit because while it is legal for a police officer to target and approach a person based on their behavior, absent more, they cannot detain 
or search such individual without a warrant or probable cause. And we know probable cause only comes from a crime, which again, just like in Terry v. Ohio, just like in Nevada v. Uh, Hybel v. Nevada, they must articulate that crime. And even in Florida v. Royer, you are still under no obligation to participate. So that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Thank you for donating. Thank you, Doug. He put in 30 bucks today. Thank you, Lou. He sponsored this episode with a hundo. Thank you, Isabel. She sent in 20 bucks. Thank you guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Everything's working. Apple Pay, Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, Google Pay, and PayPal. The Supreme Decisions. And let's keep going, keep growing. Until next time.